Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the vibe in the highest of <laughs> let's try that again i pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies are dismantled being dismantled against you as i have said uh, so shall it be judgment is final we are ascending let's go ahead and ascend and ascend some more what in the world is going on by finding our in the name of source is going on in this tarot reading okay i don't know what is going on i sat down to do my read all of a sudden i can't hold my card i can't shuffle the enemy is busy i recorded another video and then it got cut up uh <laughs> someone cut it up while i was recording <laughs> because they don't want the information out so here we go anyways you have a group of people there's some type of collaboration that is done with um because things are just a bit of a burden um for these people there's a situation where a group of people got together and i don't know if this is a company that does this regularly or this is a group of people that does this, um, they may have been trying to have you homeless, living in poverty, something of that nature. There's also something going on in court where someone may have forced your signature on something and the truth may be out about that or they are about to be exposed. Someone may have either lied and said that you two were married or someone forced some type of document and said that you give them permission to have something a judge or uh, someone high up in a court system may have given some type of access to someone so they could have access to your abundance um and it's been taken away from that person but there's something where either people took some type of life insurance policy out on someone and you were not supposed to be here by now this is something i don't know if this is a code that does this regularly they take life insurance policy out on people and then they make sure like they go in and start sending you energy so that you can pass away what well, the energy they're, they've been sending to your heart is not working so they, they got pretty desperate out here so they were trying to have you homeless and out in the street because if you're homeless you don't have an, an address you're wandering the street right moving from place to place you lay your head here one day you may lay your head somewhere else another day um, so this was supposed to make it easier for them to be able to analyze you that way when people start asking about you they can just say well she's homeless or he's homeless so they're probably out somewhere but you're not out somewhere alive you're out somewhere in a ditch then burned or something like that okay so this was a plan by a group of people i feel like there's a company behind this it's like it's an institution that has another operation that goes with goes on within that institution and they have people come in and uh, analyze certain people especially if you don't fit in the into their way of doing things let's say you are a light worker and you come into this company to work for them and they're trying to dismantle you so that you can go into the dark but they realize you're someone of the light they will take out a life insurance policy on you so that they can have you out of here and then they can use that money um, this is something they do regularly okay there could even be a company that's under investigation and they don't know that there's a group of people within a company that's under some type of investigation and they don't realize that the whole time they've been collaborating to destroy you they didn't know people like the legal system was watching them they've been under investigation there's also something where it is a, a group of like i don't know if this is like a couple or someone that has some type of tie in the justice system and they got a judge to sign some type of paper for them like the judge gave them authority to have either access to your your wealth your inheritance or something like that 
and they, these people got together, came up with some type of plan to make it seem like you were incompetent or something like that so they could have access to your fortune. Um, the court system either needed proof that you were someone incompetent, someone that was legally incompetent, but they haven't been able to find proof. It's like they're taking all of these like ridiculous uh, paperwork to the court or something, some type of explanation to the court, and they haven't been able to prove that you are someone that's incapable of managing your own wealth. You could have a couple that stole a home, or uh, there's some type of divorce going on, and someone is refusing to leave a home. Honey, it's a whole lot of chaos going on behind the scenes, okay? Someone is being put out of a home, and I don't know if they don't want people to know that, but there's a divorce going on. Someone is being put out of a home. They are losing everything. The reason they're losing everything is because they came after you, okay? So the, this is balance coming into a situation. Someone has been very malicious a long time, and they've been, uh, a group of people have been malicious for a very long time, and they've gotten so accustomed to being able to destroy other people's lives that when they came across you, they thought you were just going to be another successful story for them but it didn't turn out that way. So they are desperate or were desperate behind the scenes, okay? This is a group of people that come together um, for some reason, some way, somehow, and I don't know how they do this. They make money out of bullying people, um, out of saffening people's energy, um, misusing, right? Misrepresenting themselves. So they take your energy and use it as theirs. Um, it's a very simple thing. They pretend to be you so they can garner wealth that way. And then you're out here going through hard time, living in poverty and things like that. That's how light, uh, dark workers operate. They take on your persona um, and go and do witchcraft behind the scenes so that they can garner wealth. It's temporary. It's kind of like the fool's goal. It's not real gold. You see it, it looks uh, sparkling. You think you are wealthy and things like that. Only for you to touch it, you take it home with you and it turns into dust. So it's something like that with these people where they thought they were garnering or gaining wealth off of your energy, but everything is being stripped away from them because they were under some type of illusion that they, that they were receiving blessings and things like that because of you. You don't receive blessings by stealing from people. I don't know like how people can put two and two together that easily. If you have to steal something, it's not a blessing. That's a curse you're bringing on yourself and your lineage. It's not a blessing. So these people have committed themselves to destroying you, getting you out of alignment, out of attunement and things like that. So you can be out here crazy and things like that, losing your mind. I don't know if you all have ever seen the video of Martin Lawrence out in the street in his underwear, he's yelling, they're trying to, they're trying to, you know, off me, they're trying to off me. That's how they wanted you to be. They wanted you out here crazy, just so out in the street yelling or losing your mind, making all types of accusations and things like that. And they're realizing it's not working. And someone is very desperate. Someone's a narcissist behind the scenes. This is a woman that's very much stern on making something go in her way. And she's pissing people up in this group because they're wanting to move on with their life because whatever plan it is they've been trying to carry out, it's not working. People are agitated by her. They're really annoying, annoyed by her. It made, if like she doesn't let go, it's going to turn into some type of physical altercation that she probably does not want to be a part of because they told her to stop doing something and she's still doing it. Someone has been doing something behind the scenes and she's failing to realize. And this is how SIRS has it set up sometimes. And this is why karma is a beautiful thing. Okay. Of course, it depends on what side of the spectrum you're on. Good karma, bad karma. Karma is a beautiful thing. It brings balance into every situation. You will have a lot of money, which I think someone behind the scenes does. She or he has a lot of money. So when they initially started coming after you, they said, well, I have all the money in the world to do what I want. And I'm going to keep paying people to block you, bully you, come after you and do all kinds of stuff to you. And you have no way of fighting back because you're poor, you're broke, you're whatever it is. Um, and the, the most high sat back and let her, you know, carry out her little plan. It was part of your path your experience in this lifetime little did she know she's part of your your plan your growth your ascension you are ascending through this experience right so she's been spending her money paying people to do this to you do that to you take from you reject you all kinds of stuff it is insecurity basically and she thought that her money 
because she's wealthy she's invincible god will let you do things like that source will let you do things like that for a specific amount of time and once they're done and they realize you're just not trying to learn from your lesson you're not trying to grow they will strike you with an illness that your money cannot buy cure for you are incurable okay so that's something a queen of pentacles is either going through or she's about to go through someone is about to be so sick it's going to be ridiculous she may end up passing away because someone just refuses to heal someone is just immature insecure uh it's that she sees you she thinks you're beneath her but then she's taking her money to pay people to do you things how does that make sense if you think you're better than someone why would you be coming after them make it make sense it does not so they've been they've been trying to shake you up right so you can you know let go of your dreams get off of your path because this is something where some of them are feeling like you're they want to make you feel like you have made the wrong decision in life you're on the wrong path they want to restrict you to either only working with the dark or not working at all and this is not part of your calling what you do let's say for myself i do tarot i mean to divination and spirituality that's my past that's what i'm born to do someone comes in they're trying to destroy my path right so that i can be restricted to only working with the dark with dark people it, source is not having that like your my ancestors are not having that they're going to flip turn upside down their whole institution they will turn your whole life upside down until you leave you learn to leave me alone so your money you end up losing it your health lose it your marriage lose it anything you can think of stability resources you're losing and every time you take action to do do me something right they'll take something else from you so that's kind of that's a situation someone is in behind the scenes every time she touches something that belongs to you or does something to you or pays someone to do you something she and the person that accepted the payment are going through some type of ending um there was some type of plot to send in a masculine to a feminine energy as well so that he can come in and deceive you um it's, it's not working honey these people though i don't know how their minds work these are people that will see people like me and say that we have we are mentally unstable or something like that we have issues but then you look at the things they're doing and you're like how the heck do you not see like this is stupid how do you, how the heck do you not see like there's a problem with what you're doing I don't, I don't know like how these people minds work and I don't even want to try to because it's a freaking headache, okay? So even though they are out here trying to block people's forward movement, trying to end you, anyways, it's not going to work. It's not going to uh, come into fruition. Like, they're just wasting their time, anyways. So let's get into our reading. We have someone out here that is committed to manifesting their uh, Ten of Pentacles, right? You are someone that has taken time to perfect your craft or you are a bit of a perfectionist. You are securing your future and things like that. You are working on bringing in this life of abundance for yourself. People may be intimidated by this, but with us starting out with these two, I mean, these three cards that lets me know that you are going to absolutely have success in this, right? Uh, you may be partnering up with a business partner. You and someone may end up meeting um, and end up working together. Now, I don't know if it is, if this is going to turn into romance, but with the fact that we have a lot of pentacles out here, I'm telling you, you and someone will be working together. You may even end up having some type of family together, or you're going to build your own soul tribe. Right, you're going to be very successful in business together, and you may end up creating a community where you have people that are like minded as yourself and don't have to worry about idiotic people. I'm telling you, idiotic people around you trying to destroy what it is you're building. There's a community in here that had some type of short, short lived victory, right? They were celebrating someone's downfall, they thought maybe they had destroyed your Ten of Pentacles or any chances of you having a Ten of Pentacles. Um, and they are going through some type of disappointment, heartbreak. They said they were under some type of illusion or something. Um, and someone in here may be absolutely pissed off because they're having a hard time being able to destroy your kingdom or whatever it is you're building. They're having a hard time destroying 
your, uh, your t I don't know what, the, what it is, your tower, your business, whatever it is, right? So someone may be very pissed up behind the scenes because they've done everything to interfere either with your love connections, your business, your resources. They don't understand how you still have money coming in and things like that, or why it is that you're still focused on moving forward with your life, okay? There's a tower going on behind the scenes. There may be some type of separation going on behind the scenes because someone interfere or a group of people interfere with some type of divine union that was supposed to come together. You are going to be partnering up with someone regardless, whether it's the person from their community or someone else, you are still going to be partnering up with someone. And this is a rude awakening for these people. You may have had someone in here thinking that you are in some type of competition with them for a masculine energy. You don't even give two SHIT about this kind of stuff. Empresses do not care. They don't compete for anything or anyone, right? They mind their business. So you may have a karmic in here that has been trying to compete with you, but then telling people that you are competing with them. I'm telling you, they say you've been competing with them and you don't even care what's going on with these people. Like you are busy trying to bring balance into your life, waiting for things to take to uh, come into fruition for you, but you're putting in that energy so that it can come into fruition. Meanwhile, you have a bunch of karmics out here going through some type of en ending and this is something that it's kind of self-imposed it's a self-imposed ending right so all of these people because they interfere with your livelihood your resources your connection this definitely has to do with two people coming together because this two of cups keep showing up at the bottom this has to do with two people coming together also with this ten of pentacles as you can see here the ten of pentacles has to do with familiarity you know family matters and things like that you and someone coming together, a business partner coming together to build an empire that turns out to be a very successful one, which in the end uh, creates uh, security for your family, a legacy, something you can pass down through generations and things like that, okay? Uh, so they wanted this person to leave you out in the cold. If someone in their community left you out in the cold, rest assured you have a new offer coming in. You're going to be meeting someone at the right time the right place as well i'm telling you at the right time the right place in divine timing so this is not something you need to be worried about you may have people taking actions behind the scenes to either get you fired get your platform deleted uh block some type of promotion for some of you whatever it is they're trying to do don't lose your head about it if they tell you you're being fired go on and get yourself a good night's sleep Go and get yourself a drink, something to drink. I'm not saying like alcoholic beverages or something. If that's what you're into, do what it is that you do until you know better. Um, but, you know, go on and just release any type of negative energy people are trying to put into your life. Because a lot of the times, this is why people do things. They want you to feel negative. They want you to feel insecure because they feel insecure. If they've been doing a whole lot behind the scenes to get you unstable, to get you unhappy, to get you you know, feeling sorry for yourself, uh, uh, interfere with your independence and things like that, or your security. That's why they will do things like that. But you don't want to give these people the pleasure of seeing you like that because the Most High has already put something into your heart, letting you know that you are secure, you are taken care of, you're going to be a okay. So let these people do whatever it is that they want. You are going to have victory. I'm telling you, you have nothing to worry about. This is how weak-minded and small-minded people move. Okay, they feel insecure around you. You intimidate them, not because you're wanting to intimidate them, but they're naturally intimidated by you because you have an essence about yourself that they don't have. You have characteristics, uh, tricks that they don't have. They don't want to do the work to have. It's not that they can't be like you. It's just because they refuse to do the work. So they will do, they will do certain malicious things to get you out of character, knowing the whole time that you are someone genuine, someone compassionate, um, but they'll still take action against you. And this is because they want you in a low vibrational energy and don't give them that, that pleasure, okay? You will be meeting someone. Someone may be from your past that has fond memories of you. They may be thinking highly of you, reminiscing about you. Someone may be realizing that you were the only genuine character around them. Maybe they're going through some type of betrayal, uh, going through some type of ending. Yeah, they're going through some type of betrayal by either an institution, a group of people, families or friends. Uh, they are leaving these people out in the cold, but they are absolutely going through some type of betrayal. Someone may have thought that they were surrounded by families and friends, but they're finding out 
Oh, yeah, it's a rude awakening. You're finding out that they've been surrounded by enemies the whole time. They've been sleeping with the enemy, okay? So then someone may be taking action, maybe to travel somewhere, get away from these people. Like he's, yeah. <laughs> I love you, ancestors. <laughs> he's taking action to travel, to put distance between him and these people, um, and also to protect himself. Someone is staying very vigilant around a group of people because he sees them for exactly who they are. Uh, so someone may be moving. I'm telling you, even maybe wanting to communicate with you. Maybe they need your help or something like that, or they just want to send you some type of uh, friendship offer, something of that nature. Like someone wants to uh, 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 um, send you like some type of heartwarming letter, message. I don't know what this is, but they want to reach out to you to offer you a friendship because they are remembering you. They're having fond memories of you that you were genuine, you were sincere with this person. They may have rejected your friendship in the past because of what people were telling them, toxic people. They were, they, excuse me, honey, someone does not want this message to come out. Someone ended up realizing that they may have trapped themselves in some type of union or collaboration with a group of dark people, right? And now that he knows the truth, he's, he's listening to his intuition about this group. He may be trying to separate himself so that he can move on. Um, uh yeah he's making a decision to move on okay and the spirit realm has made a decision about this group as well they're dismantling this group as we speak this is current energy they are being dismantled in order for two people to come together so for some of you you may end up having to reconnect with this person so that you two can mend things have some type of closure bring an ending to this long winded and just boring chapter not boring but chaotic and karmic chapter because what these people have been doing, you've been protected from it the whole time. So you may not even know half of what these people have been doing. Their lives are in chaos. Meanwhile, you are maybe just somewhere in your home with your legs thrown up on a chair, drinking yourself a mimosa or wherever it is that you drink, and their lives are in chaos. But balance is absolutely being brought into this situation. A decision has been made. They're going through some type of ending. All of them, not just one person, especially the head of the group, okay? They are going through some type of ending. I'm telling you, the whole group is going through an ending. You could even have a toxic couple out here that's going through an ending. If this masculine was partnered up with some type of Jizzy Bell or Karmic or whoever, this relationship is over. He, yeah, he's leaving. He wants to have a genuine relationship with someone. It's like he's going from night from night to day. Yeah, he's going from night to day. I said night and then the night nine of all. Uh, the nine of swords comes out, okay? He's going from night to day. So it's like going from toxic to genuine. He's been stuck in some type of toxic relationship and he's now getting out of that so that he can, I'm telling you, night and day. He is moving on with his life. There's clarity about this situation. These people, they've been competing with him in a sense. They've been competing with him for his future, basically. It said, we know you want to go to the earth angel or whoever that is to have a blissful future, an abundant future, but we want you to stay in toxicity. We want you to stay committed to us. We want you to stay where you are, where you are not thriving. We're stealing from you. We're blocking you, causing you chaos and a conflict every day. But so we want you to stay here because it works for us. Okay. It's more beneficial for us for you to stay here than for you to go be with that uh, person. With the truth being revealed, there's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that's going through some type of ending she never could have imagined, okay? This is the woman that was uh, orchestrating all of this madness behind the scenes, telling people what to do. Very malicious and cunning, right? She's the one that's telling people, hey, I'll pay you to do this. Go do this. I need you to go to this person's house at 3 p.m., knock on their door and run. I need you to try to get into this person's house. Go and take this out of their house. Go into their phone. This is the son, the person that's been making all of the calls, right? She's the judge, judge, the jury, and the executioner, right? When it comes to your life causing blockages and hindrances. But this collaboration is coming to an end because some type of action is being taken by someone to bring balance into this situation. Um, and it's just not working. So whoever she was working with before, all of these people, they're going to be going through some type of ending. 
they've gone from celebrating to now being interrogated and things like that and they didn't realize that they were being interrogated the whole time they were under some type of illusion okay that everything was okay uh they were all working together maybe this is an, an illusion they had a masculine energy under where he thought they were all getting along you know it was a blissful place to be uh they were in happy happy land right and the truth has been revealed that it's quite chaotic these people are nothing but drama and chaos is all they come with the karmic okay so you have a community of people that are going from celebrating your downfall celebrating some type of a, a malicious plan that took out betrayal whatever it is to now they're going to have to answer questions i'm telling you they're going to have to now answer questions because balance has been brought into this situation this is where they wanted you but the most high is stepping in to bring balance if your work was tampered with it's going to be balanced out if an opportunity was tampered with you're going to get a better one okay you're going to be getting some type of positive news and things like that right so whatever this i don't know if this is a community group of people whatever this is honey someone has been basically competing with you but there's clarity in this situation okay i'm going to still put it up but there's clarity in this situation and it was all meant to happen in divine timing Whatever new beginning they were trying to make complicated as, as possible, there's some type of balance being brought in here. You may not end up with this masculine because someone may have partook in something that should not have partook in. Uh, so there's going to be balance brought into this situation in order for you to be able to move on. So you'll have the choice to partner up with this person once they travel towards you, or you can just tell them, you know, thank you for letting me know what was going on. Thank you for, you know, coming words me to ask for forgiveness or whatever this is but i'm choosing to move on with my life best wishes to you it's something like that right because some of you have a lot of news uh you some of you have higher level soulmates that, that are coming i'm telling you i said higher level soulmate and the temperance energy comes out you some of you have higher level soulmates that are being brought into your life so the masculines in your past that betray you whether they were co-workers whether they were exes whatever they were um, they are being replaced by people that are on your vibration, your 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 frequency, right? People that have the same goal as you, like-minded as yourself. And you will be meeting with these types of people, building your own community or forming your own community so that you can be surrounded by people that are like-minded as yourself, will have the same goal and intentions as you, okay? Um, something is being illuminated about you specifically, and this is the fact that you are someone very business savvy, very uh, um, articulate, um, multitasker, like you're always like innovative. That's the word I was trying to get out. You're someone very innovative. Um, so when people uh, are around you, they know that they can trust you to manifest something new always, come up with some type of new idea. And you may have had someone behind the scenes trying to make it seem that she was the one coming up with all of these new ideas. And this is because some of you, someone was stealing your work. Like they were stealing your work and putting it out as their own. They may tune it a little bit to make it seem like it's something they came up with. But the truth has been revealed. Like someone has been stalking you, honey. They've been stalking you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and everything else in between. It's ridiculous, okay? There could be some type of plan where these people may be trying to have you put out of your home or this was a plan and someone else is going through that. You're not going to be homeless. This is not part of your contract to be homeless. OK, so whoever has been intending this for you, like someone has been trying to pay people to have you put out of a home and your ancestors are stepping in to make sure that that does not happen because that's not part of your experience this lifetime. You've possibly had this experience in another lifetime, but it's not repeating itself because you've already learned that lesson. You are protected from things like that, okay? You are coming up as someone that relies on the most high to intervene, or you re rely on the spirit realm, like you give them authority to inter intervene on your behalf, okay? And that is something a lot of you need to learn how to do, is to give your ancestors and your angels to intervene on your behalf when things are going on. You said, I give you permission to intervene on my behalf and bring balance into this situation, avenge me, right? So that I can have wish fulfillment. I don't have, I do not have any ill intent for anyone, but I do wish to have fulfillment in this situation that I did not start, I did not uh, uh, initiate or something like that. But give them 
permission to intervene on your behalf and take charge and bring balance um, into these situations for you. Stop being a mute. A closed mouth never gets fed. Okay. So you have a queen of pentacles that may be going through some type of hard shape. This is what she intended for you. Meanwhile, you're about to be receiving some type of good news and it's going to lead to some type of new beginning for you. Okay. People are absolutely freeing themselves from this bondage, this collaboration, whatever this is. Um, they are freeing themselves from that because it's just not going anywhere. It's that like they get like a, a momentary high or thrill out of the fact that, oh, we did this and we got away with it, but they didn't really get away with anything um, because something happens. I don't know like how to put this, but they'll do something and they'll get like a momentary fulfillment only to realize that they're in a deeper hole than they were before. And with people like this, you would think, like, let's stop doing this. But these are the kind of people that will keep going, especially a feminine energy in here. Someone is, like, very narcissistic. And, I, like, I keep getting the, the people around this woman. The energy that I'm getting, they may be, like, really agitated and annoyed with this woman or whoever this is. Or this is her energy. She's very, like, insecure is the word that describes this woman. She's very insecure. These are the kind of people that you misuse your finances. Can you imagine, collective, can you imagine going into your bank account to take money out of there to pay people to go do, like, I don't know, like bully someone or block someone's platform, block someone's promotion. They said, don't give this person this promotion. Um, I'll pay you $50,000 if you don't give them this promotion. And the whole time, the universe is just looking at them like, what an idiot. Like we blessed you with finances and you're taking it here, throwing it down the drain. She's going to lose everything. Whoever this is, she's going to lose everything. Absolutely, because of the decision she's been making. She is going to lose everything. And even if she does not lose her money, someone is going to lose their health. So people may be fighting with her behind the scenes. They're kind of done with this situation. At first, it was all cute and funny, but it's not cute and funny anymore because. Some of these people are going through a lot of hard times, having a hard time bringing balance back into their lives. So they're trying to walk away. I'm telling you, some of these people are walking away. They're, like they're cutting their lo their losses and like just moving on. They're like, I don't want to be part of this. It's not fulfilling. I'm dealing with a lot of problems. My dog passed away. My cat passed away. My car is gone. Oh, my, uh, um, my kid is in the hospital. My mom is sick. My dad is sick. I had this person passing away. I've lost my job. Something like that. Like they're they're experiencing losses. And someone in here or a few people may be putting two and two together. It's like, I think we're going through all of this because of karma, because of what we did to that person. So they may be separating themselves from this woman, but she don't want to let go. Someone is a narcissist. And it's going to lead to some type of fight, breaking out like a physical altercation, breaking out behind the scenes. Because they're tired of her. There's a woman or a man that people are sick and tired of and they don't realize it. And at some point, they're going to have a hard time finding people to even talk to. Someone is going to have to either like move or something like that. Okay. Now, you collective, you have someone who is a higher level soulmate that spirit is connecting you with. They may be going on some type of trip, maybe even moving closer to where you are maybe in your city your state wherever this is they're they're moving so that you two can have some type of new beginning together now you and this person meeting is not something that's going to be a uh, plan as far as you two deciding we're going to meet on tuesday at 4 p.m at wherever right it's more so that the universe has divinely orchestrated this meeting between the both of you so you're going to meet at the right place and the right time, right? It's like the two right people meeting at the right place and at the right time, right? For this union to take course, for it to begin, right? So someone has made all of their arrangements where they used to live. If they stay in, uh, let's say, the United Kingdom or something like that, I'm just throwing out places, United Kingdom, New York, I don't know, India, wherever, wherever they are. <laughs> they've taken care of everything they need to over there like if they have obligations and things like that they've addressed those obligations and then they're moving on right they, they they've taken that bold step forward to move on with their lives they're like see you 
Hasta la vista. Thank you all for the experience. Okay, but I'm leaving. So he's leaving to go somewhere else and start over brand new. There could be something where maybe this masculine mirror the same uh, experience you were mirroring, you were having, excuse me, um, where it's that people were coming after you, trying to destroy you, and he was going through the same thing. And now he has gone through some type of ascension. I think there's something where like a masculine may have heard that you were going through something and he didn't think very much of it until he went through the same thing. So now you two have a story to tell when you connect, right? Uh, so there's something like that going on. Yeah. <laughs> you two are going to have a story to tell about how people were trying to destroy you on a live view and things like that because they didn't want the two of you coming together. So that lets me know behind the scenes he has someone that's just as toxic as you may have people in your life that are just as toxic that are set on blocking you two from coming together maybe he was with some woman that was using him for money or something of that nature but what regardless of what's going on both of you are protected and just uh, uh, supported by the spirit realm so even if you don't have people there that are physically supporting you you have yeah you have uh people in the spirit realm that protect and watch over you so the kind the right people that you need to advocate with you or for you will do that at the right time okay uh you may have people in here that are going through some type of disappointment someone is burdened by the fact that they did not see the truth or that they caused you some type of uh complication try to make your life hard and things like that and it has led to some type of loss for them that they did not see it coming that someone may have went all out trying to destroy you and for some of you this is the masculine that you were supposed to be with and now that the truth is out someone is burdened because they may possibly not be able to come towards you and ask you for forgiveness because that's a very big forgiveness that's a huge kind of forgiveness to give but i don't think you're someone that's sitting around holding grudges in your heart however i don't think this is someone also that you want to reconnect with because that kind of just says a lot about their character, the things that they're willing to indulge in, all kinds of stuff, especially with the fact that some of you did not even know these masculines or these feminines very long before they took action against you. So someone is worried about all the manipulations and the confusions that they caused around you, and they didn't expect to lose this connection with you, but they've lost some type of connection with you. So if they want to take some type of initiative to come towards you, it's not happening. Or uh, someone took some type of someone may have gone on some type of trip. I don't know. They thought they were doing the right thing. This is not having to do with like your divine, your higher level soulmate. This is someone that you had some type of contract with. They may have made some type of calculation and went on some type of trip and it led to a loss for them um and this is not something they start coming so it's quite possible that they may not even be able yeah to give you an offer because someone is very toxic They're, someone may be trapped where they are it's like they made a choice yeah they're trapped where they are they're not able to whatever plan they had uh, what i'm getting is that there was a plan like you have someone that you may have had some type of contract with, but they had a plan to cause you an ending so that you would have to choose them. And it's a no. Like you are someone with free will. Like if it has something to do with manipulation and things like that, it never goes in the favor of the other party. Like you have to wholeheartedly be the one to choose a masculine. Like they give you an offer and you say yes off of your free will not because they manipulated behind the scenes and then come into your energy and say i want to be with you no so this is letting me know that this masculine may have someone else that may know someone else that's interested in you and they've been doing things to block this person from coming into your energy okay and so they're not able to yeah i saw another masculine and then the king of wands comes out so there are possibly two or three masculines behind the scenes that have been doing something planning something it's not working whatever plan project whatever this is they were planning for you it's not coming into fruition like spirit dead that situation before it even started like they put an end to it before it even started they said oh we're gonna go i'm gonna go in for yeah i'm telling you this tower here 
it was dead before it even started. It's like, I'm going to block block this person. You can't talk to this person. You can't communicate with this person. You can't go there. You can't go here. You know, I, this person cannot come visit you. And the whole time, you don't know that this person is doing all of this behind the scenes, interfering with your life in so many ways. Because someone has some type of control issues, they're used to being able to control people around them. And the fact that they're not able to control you is a burden for them. So they're being forced to see things from a higher pers perspective. Someone has to self-actualize and realize that not people are people are not meant to be controlled. They don't have authority over anyone and they're dealing with insecurities and they need to learn how to heal from those insecurities. But when it comes to them being able to control you, it's a no-go for your ancestors, okay? This would be like people you you outran in the spirit realm, but because they have a little bit of change in the physical realm, they think they have authority over you and other people. Someone does not have authority. They don't even have authority over themselves from what I'm thinking because someone lives with a lot of shame that they mask in ego. Someone lives with a whole lot of shame that they mask in ego. And they don't, I'm telling you, they don't know how to uh, uh, address that or they don't want to address it. So their way of having some type of control in their life is by controlling other people. But as far as your concern and as far as your ancestors are concerned, uh huh. if he's coming in your energy, it's going to have to be something that's genuine and authentic, not something that's orchestrated. By him blocking other opportunities and offers because someone has been doing this for a long time you could have someone that's very successful as well that's going through some type of healing getting in touch with your inner child someone may be sending you a message as well or want to send you a message um hopefully there are no interferences of communications but this person wants to either make some type of proposal to you or they want to have some type of brand new beginning with you so you have quite a few masculines behind the scenes that are interested in you. Just be very cautious because some of them are not coming in with genuine motives, genuine uh, intentions, right? Um, they know who you are in a spiritual sense. So they know the benefit of them connecting with you. So I'm telling you, source put an end to this mother sucker before he even took action. Like your ancestor said, nah, don't, don't do it. Player, don't do it. Do not do it. Don't go there. You're not allowed there. You're making a wrong turn. Whatever you do, do not turn right onto a uh, collective lean. Do not turn right onto collective lean. Keep on going. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah. They don't care. They do not care. Okay. There, this is the this is the thing where it's important to be who you are in public and behind closed doors. Stay true to yourself. Don't be one thing publicly and then be something else behind closed doors. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm getting that someone struggles with that. They present themselves to be someone of high honor, someone upright, someone just, someone wholesome. But behind closed doors, someone is a very malicious character. They destroy people, opportunities and things like that. Someone is very cold, cold hearted, very cold hearted okay and they may there's someone in here that may be disappointed because they didn't give you a promotion or something like that and you still cut your loss and went forward and you know created something for yourself i'm telling you you created something for yourself fulfillment for yourself so even though you may not have received the offer from this person you're still being able to build something else for yourself so you're going to be partnering up with someone at the least expected time Something you're not expecting because source is orchestrating this to take place in divine timing after someone travels. And it's not you, feminine energy. There's a masculine that's traveling and nobody knows this masculine. He's not part of this toxic group. The ones that have been coming after you, he's not part of it, but someone is aware of you. Okay. This will be someone that's very high ranking, not just in the spirit realm, but in life as well someone very influential that's going to be traveling and you two will meet okay then i think this is a tower for people that lets me know that there's some there's a masculine within a group where people saw you and him were going to connect and they've been taking actions to block the two of you 
and you two are not supposed to be together because someone still has healing to go through. Someone still has healing. I'm telling you, he still has healing to go through. So this is uh, a tower for these people if they are watching. Someone, ha someone has to go through some type of rebirth in order to have some type of high level soulmate connection, but he hasn't done the work. So all the blockages they've been doing, especially some feminine energy that has been paying money behind the scenes, whatever this is, she's been paying her money for no reason. Because whoever you're supposed to connect with, these people don't even know. They don't even know this person. He has nothing to do with them. They don't know who this person is. Or even if he has something to do with them, he's like an outsider just watching them. That he knows all of them, but none of them know him. Okay? Yeah, they don't know him. They don't know this masculine. But he knows them. Yeah, he knows them, but they don't know him. Dang. So this is like you know someone in an institution trying to compete with you for a masculine and you don't even know the mat well it's not that you don't know the masculine you don't even see the masculine that way and she's going out of her way to make sure you two don't interact don't communicate uh don't spend too much time together or anything like that because she doesn't want him to choose you and the whole time the whole time she's doing that only to find out you don't have any type of interest in this masculine <laughs> like you you're focused on your pentacles and things like that your work that's why we started off like that. You're focused on work and manifesting abundance for yourself. And someone is vain and insecure out here trying to focus on a masculine, choosing her. You know, one of those, pick me, pick me, bitches. Yeah. Pick me, pick me. No, no, no. Pick me, pick me. I'm the best option. Pick me, pick me. Yeah, one of those. And you're just looking at what? Huh? Again, you're focused on growing your life, improving your life, achieving your goals. And someone is out here being a pick me, pick me, bitches. <laughs> oh, the embarrassment, the embarrassment. That's embarrassing as heck. That's something I'm grateful for. I've never been a pick me, pick me. You don't like me? Oh, well. <laughs> you don't want me? Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you. There's a reason why Source is making you not want me or like me. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Rejection is my protection. I am grateful. Thank you so much for rejecting me. <laughs> I'd be darned if I ever, ever raised my hand to say, pick me figuratively. Uh uh. I don't care. I have to see the truth. <laughs> Ooh, this is the God's honest truth. I don't care. You don't like me? That's your business. You figure that out. If you think I'm about to go out of my way to get you to like me, you are highly mistaken. You got me effed up. <laughs> yeah. You got me effed up in more ways than one. If you think I give two craps about you liking me or wanting me, <laughs> who told you you're my type anyways? <laughs> <Whew. laughs> That's something I've realized with dark workers, like these warlocks, they feel like they get to make the decision on who they want to be with. I get to talk to her. You don't talk to her. That's mine. That's mine. Like, did she say she want you? Did she say she wants you? Huh? Like, did she, I don't know, she winked at you, told you that she chose you or something? You've out, you're have you out here, you've made some type of declaration that that empress there is yours. Meanwhile, you two don't even talk, you don't have her number, nothing. So who told you that's how it works? <laughs> you chose her, did she choose you though? That's the question. That's the question. Okay, so whoever you are supposed to be connecting with, they are going for it. I'm telling you, this tower car keeps coming out. People are going through repeated endings behind the scenes. Like the most high is not playing with a group of people behind the scenes. 
they're going through endings after endings after endings after endings and your ancestors want you to know they have their hand in everything this is why i said to tell your ancestors to intervene on your behalf take action on your behalf in these situations so that they can avenge you and bring balance into these situations and fulfillment for you to you so this tower car coming out repeatedly with this devil car this group is going through an ending like the most high is Whipping behinds and taking names. Taking ASS and taking names. So they're going through endings. There's a toxic couple behind here that's going through some type of ending. Their finances are being taken away from them. They've lost their stability and security. These people thought they were invincible because they had money. It's all being taken away. There could be some type of divorce proceeding going on between them. Honey, and it's a toxic one. It's a karmic one. And this was important for this separation to take place between these people so that you and your partner could actually come together in peace. I'm telling you. So you two can come together in peace. So for some of you, the masculine is in this community, you will be coming together. And for others of you, you have someone brand new coming towards you. Like they're taking action to come towards you. Okay? They are taking action. They are taking action. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, so you two will be meeting. And I know the Six of Cups has some type of nostalgic feeling to it, but this could be because you and this person have some type of past life connection together. So he's taking action to come towards you. Okay, you two will meet, but again, it's not something that you're going to be orchestrating physically or verbally. Source is orchestrating this. So this person stepping out on faith to move away from these people, get away from these people, right? And commit himself or invest in himself so that he can be the ideal partner to have this Ten of Cups energy or be in this Ten of Cups energy is leading to some type of growth for him and he's is encouraging him to take action. And you two will end up meeting. Like someone has very, I don't know if it's like, if I can even say fun memories, but someone thinks very highly of you. Like they connect with you. And some of you, this is someone that watches your, if you do platform, if you do uh, content, like they watch your content and they resonate with you in, way, in a way that you, words cannot explain. And you may not even know this person. You may not know this person. And there's something here where <laughs> there's something here, <coughs> excuse me. There is something here where I don't know if like people are trying to have you out in the cold. 